Good morning everyone, or good afternoon, depending on where you are attending this webinar. First and foremost, I would like to thank you all for taking time, out from your schedule, to attend this webinar. Welcome again. Before we start, let me provide a brief on Calcutech. Calcutech has long been an advocate of open standards and standards-based communication, to facilitate interoperability in true sense. Our solutions enable customers implementing mission-critical applications across the smart grid, industry 4.0 and IoT solution spectrum. Together with ASE Systems, Calcutech has been providing solutions for utilities and industry for past 35 years. ASE being the US company acquired by Calcutech in 2014-15. A few points to keep in mind before we start off. This is a listen-only webinar, however to facilitate clearing of your doubts, or queries that may arise during the course of the webinar, feel free to send us your questions by typing in the window provided during the talk itself. We would come back with our response to you by mail or phone. Today's topic is, Secure All Based Remote Access, for Transmission and Distribution Utilities. Recently, the world had seen a lot of changes in how we work. Social distancing and remote working have become a new norm, in most of the industries. Critical infrastructure industries, such as power utilities being an essential service, have to ensure 24 bar 7 supply of power to all consumers, irrelevant to the situation. So it's highly critical and essential for utilities to have a solution, to enable them to work and solve the issues remotely, more than ever. However, it's also extremely important that this kind of solution should comply with the security requirements mandated for the critical infrastructures. Calcutech has built a solution perfectly refined to meet this requirement. Calcu.io Secure Remote Access has strong authentication and role-based access management service fine-tuned for industrial and utility networks. In this webinar we will discuss how the utility can easily handle this situation remotely, better than ever, by confronting all security vulnerabilities. We will also walk you through a small demo, on accessing a protection relay, and do the programming remotely, followed by how role-based access control is managed for remote access. Utility engineers or technicians would need to access substation assets from time to time, or utility may need to grant permission for device manufacturers or system integrators or contractors to access specific devices, as and when required. Electrical substations have various types of assets ranging from switch gear system, protection system and automation systems. Let's look at a few typical devices or asset types that would need to be accessed for maintenance or update. Maintenance access would be required for IEDs, which are used for network protection, or remote terminal units used for monitoring and control of IOS, or it could be meters which do electrical parameter measurements, or emerging unit at the process level. It could be a managed switches at the station level used to interconnect these systems within the substation. GPS clock which gets time from time master, and synchronizes all other devices within substation network. Data concentrator or controllers which act as station controllers, HMI system used as local SCADA system. So depending on the scenario, utility engineers need to access assets from all three levels including process level, bay level, and station level assets. All these devices may be from different manufacturers, and require different software tools for diagnose and configuration over communication media such as Ethernet or serial. Let's look at a scenario where a technician needs to access a protection relay to change some of its settings. In this demo, I have an self 421 distance and direction protection relay with IP address 192.92.92.92 in a substation. We will see how it can be accessed remotely, over a secure tunnel provided by Calki.io. The primary requirement, is to connect the relay to a gateway hardware, at the site. 
In this demo the gateway has an IP 192.168.100.45, shall be provided with Calpi.io network proxy, to forward connection from the remote engineering system, to the cell relay. Gateway, where network proxy to be deployed, can be from any manufacturers, with Linux or Windows OS. Even a station controller with built-in firewall can be used, if dedicated hardware is not available. Either Relay's front serial port, or rear Ethernet port can be connected to the gateway for remote programming. We will use the rear port the Relay for this demo. The technician connects his computer to the internet and log into his Calki.io account. He then selects or browses the device, which needs to be accessed, and initiate the remote connection from Calki.io webpage. This process will in turn creating a tunnel from his computer to the network proxy in the field gateway, and to the end device. The technician can now start Relay Configuration Tool, in this case for configuring cell 421. Cell Accelerator Tool is used to program the Relay. Once the technician logs into Calki.io, he will see his default dashboard, with a set of widgets pre-configured, for the technician identity. He can use device connectivity widget, and enter the, name of the intended relay which need to be connected to, in this case cell relay, and test the connection healthiness, connection status of end device to proxy, and from proxy to Calki.io, are indicated here. He can also use device access history widget, and reconnect any of the end device he previously connected. If technician is using his computer for first time for remote access, he needs to install device connect application in his computer first. Device connect app can be downloaded and installed directly from the widget, provided on dashboard. Once device connect is installed, browse the cell relay which need to be accessed and initiate the connection. You need to start the device connect app once the connection is initiated. Connection request is authenticated by Calki.io and create an end-to-end -end tunnel to the computer. Once connection is established up to the computer, connection status in device connect app will change to orange. and it will also show the local port to which configuration tool need to connect to. In this case it's TCP port 5566. He can start relay specific configuration tool, and configure the connection. Here he will configure loopback IP, 127.0.0.1, and local port, 5566 in cell accelerator, and initiate connection with the relay. Once end-to-end -end connection from the relay configuration tool to cell relay and the field is established, connection status in the device connect app will change to green. Now read the configuration from the relay, using the read command.
verify if all parameters are read from the device. and update the settings, which need to be changed. In this case we can change the phase sequence from ABC to ACB, save the configuration. The changed configuration is downloaded to the device remotely. That's all. With a few steps privileged user can access any field device remotely without using VPN or another sort of connection still over a secured link. Let's look at how to set up a field device in a substation for secure remote access with role-based control. The first and foremost thing for secure remote access is setting up a gateway at the field and configure it to connect to Kalki.io using a network proxy. Then, configure the firewall rules in the gateway, to block all inbound traffic to the network. This, will be done by a network administrator, who will be responsible for the network security in the substation. The administrator will logs into his Kalki.io account, download and install Kalki.io network proxy, in the intended gateway. Next he configures gateway firewall to open up only port outbound 443 to establish a connection from field gateway to Kalki.io. All other ports can be configured as blocked. With this step, field network configuration is completed, and now gateway can establish a secure connection with Kalki.io. The next step is to configure the connectivity of the gateway to the end device. This will be done by a system engineer, or protection engineer who wants to expose connection, to a specific protection relay, and share that relay with, one or more technicians, whom he wants the device to be accessed remotely. This need to be done for each and every, end devices which needs remote access. System engineer has privilege, to control sharing of each devices to any and other users. Let's see this in action. For setting up a gateway with Kalki.io network proxy, network administrator log into his Kalki.io account. And download. App installer available in his dashboard. Start the app installer and log into his Kalki.io account. Make sure URL of the Kalki.io server is exactly the same as where the account belongs to. Connect gateway to administrator's computer over LAN and install network proxy using the app installer. The installer will prompt to select the package which needs to be installed in the gateway. Select Network Proxy in this case, and proceed. Select the OS of the gateway which proxy needs to be installed to, in this case it's a Linux gateway. Provide a name for the proxy, and make sure connection parameters to the gateway are properly configured, in the installer EG, IP address, username, password. Depending upon the device, use advanced settings if required. Installer will download network proxy from Kalki.io server and install it in target gateway along with the license. Installation logs are available on the wizard itself.
After installation gateway firewall can be configured to open up TCP port 443 for outbound connection to Calki.io. Install the gateway at the substation. Once connectivity to the substation is established by network administrator, system engineer or protection engineer can add cell relay as an end device in Calki.io and share it with technician user for remote access. For that system engineer will log into Calki.io portal. On the system engineer dashboard, there is a device addition widget which can be used to add an end device. Add end device details including device name, decryption. Here device can be named as cell relay. Select the proxy through which this device can be accessed to. Along with the device link parameters, including real IP address, 192.192.92.92 and port number, Proxton configure connection parameter settings at the device configuration tool. End. In this case configure TCP port 5566 which cell accelerator will get connected to locally. Once end device is added, share the device, to group of users, or to a specific user, in this case, device is shared with technician user and complete the process. This step completes a configuration for role-based device access. Here are some of the key benefits and features of Kalki.io Remote Access. The solution provides device-specific access control, unlike a network access control security, available in legacy solutions like VPN. The individual devices in the field can be shared with different users, and users can be structured in a role-based hierarchy. Identity and permissions of each role are totally customizable in Calki.io. Another major advantage is the flexibility to choose the edge gateway hardware. You can use any embedded computer, industrial computer or even a personal computer with Linux or Windows OS as gateway hardware. As the connection is not depending upon any network layers like VPN, there is no limit on the number of devices that can be an app using Calki.io remote access service. Similarly, there is no limit on the number of users who can use this service. Whole connectivity and engineering workflow are so simple that it can be done with minimal or no training. Remote access can also enable real-time monitoring and control functions using inbuilt protocol engines in Calki.io. The audit trail function in the platform provides extensive details on the remote access historical operations.